24, Jasper Mortimer is in Ankara. Uh, Jasper, at this early stage, uh, what's the picture looking like? Yes, Rochelle, I'm sorry. I'm going to uh, correct your figures slightly. Uh, you're right, more than 80% of the ballot boxes have been opened, but there are two different results. The one from the state-run Anadolu agency puts Erdogan ahead with 53.7%, 53.7%, and Kemal Kilic to Olu trailing with 46.3%. The other private independent agency, Anka, uh, puts Kilic to Olu ahead with 50.1 percent, 50.1, uh, with Erdogan on 49.8. So a much closer result from the private news agency. Uh, interestingly, everybody's saying the turnout was 87 percent, which is exactly what it was last time. And people had expected voters to stay away out of laziness, out of the expectation that Erdogan's victory was a foregone conclusion. But it does seem that the two main contenders have managed to mobilize their supporters as effectively as they did last time. However, there are reports that there was a stay away in the Kurdish southeast of the country uh, because um, the uh, Kurds um, objected uh, to um, what the... Uh, Kilis to Orlu's lurch to the right in the past two weeks in an attempt to pick up uh, nationalist votes. That does seem to have deterred Kurds from voting. All right. Well, uh, Jasper, thanks very much for giving us the extra facet with, of course, another uh, news agency which is, you know, perhaps has a series of, of different results.